now i will introduce you uh, to the ide which we will uh, like integrated development develop uh, environment which we will use for our you know uh, python tutorials like there are various uh, ides which are available uh, in the market like you have anaconda then you have jupiter then you have pycharm etc etc but i choose google uh, Collab, which is the how short form of Google Collaboratory. Uh, firstly, because of two three reasons. First of all, it is uh, based. It is fully based out of cloud. So uh, all I need is just a Google uh, uh, email ID. I can log into that, and then I can launch the Google Collab on the fly. So I can do it in any uh, Google compatible device, like whether it's a laptop, tab, or even a mobile. And I can do. Uh, programming on the fly whereas as compared to other id like anaconda and others there are a lot of dependencies which google collab doesn't have and and it as it is a cloud based uh, platform so it makes things very simple and lot of libraries and packages are already installed and you don't have to run pip install again and again so now uh, i want to highlight that once you type you can just go into google into google and type google collab and then you will get this as the first page and then first you, what you want to see is that you go to file you will press the file and then it will uh, the next thing will open and this is a typical uh, collab workspace see this is the name of the file which i have given so untitled zero and you can you know start typing from here and like i have just written the first thing like import pandas as pd and after you type if you press this button so basically the line will run it is very similar to jupiter id but it's running on cloud so like the most important thing you need to do to do any operation or any analysis on the pandas library is to load the pandas package and first of all in order to load it you will have to import the package and the python community has agreed the alias for pandas as pd and for when you are loading pandas pd is assumed as a standard practice and the code for loading is, is very simple it's like import pandas as pd and as i told you in the last slide that when you work in google collab cloud based platform pandas library is already installed and then you can directly import it without installing it earlier using the pip install command how the code looks like this i have done in google collab uh, you see first we have done import pandas as pd and then you are doing df you are creating instance of the pd object df equal to pd dot data frame and then you are populating the data frame with three columns like which i mentioned earlier like name age and sex like name you have done like tom john and jenny and then age you are seeing 2021 20, 22 and sex is mmf and after that we are closing in this parenthesis you see basically the data frame is created and then we are writing df and once after that when we press this arrow button then the program is executed and you see the output this is the output of uh, this uh, code snippet so basically this is showing that data frame uh, you know the components of the data frame like name age and sex and you can see this 0 1 2 are the index lastly this was my first effort to you know give you some basic very basic introduction on the pandas project and pandas data frame object and i will be covering the various other nitty gritty and other advanced topics of the pandas library as we go forward uh, request you to support my channel python code buddy by liking and subscribing in the youtube channel thank you